Good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you today? I hope you're good. No makeup Monday. Yeah, that's right. And my hair is falling out. Hold on a second. What's a video without me trying to fix my hair? One of these days I'll actually just do it for you and maybe I'll look normal. <laughs> uh, I've been MIA a little bit. I've been filming videos, but they're videos that take a lot of time editing. And I have two things. We've been having to clean out because we're having construction. So I have things absolutely everywhere. And so, yeah, that's part of it. And the second part is my stomach has been giving me a lot of trouble. I haven't been feeling great. It's kind of put me in a funky mood where I didn't feel like making a lot of new videos. Um, and my daughter's leaving to go back to California uh, in a few days. And my other daughter's having surgery next week. So we've been like really busy. I've been in my own little world and yeah. So I have videos that I'm working on from the past week, but they're not gonna be ready for a little bit. So this morning what I thought I would do was as I was bringing it upstairs, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Do you guys go to the Dollar Tree or to one of those dollar stores by you? And if you do, what are your favorite things from the store? I'll tell you my favorite things that I like to get from the store. And they have these already made uh, plastic um, lid covers for your food. Uh, you know, they're, you know, you throw them away. I know plastic is not good and you should recycle. But I like those because it's easy just to put on the top of your food and take the saran wrap out. I like their cotton pads to take off your makeup or put on serum or whatever. I like their cotton pads. Their toilet paper is quite good as well, but we had enough of the toilet paper. What else is our favorite things from there? I mean, like little snacks are good and little doodads. And as I go through what's in here, I'll tell you if we like it or not and probably why we got it. So this is our upstairs bathroom-ish, maybe bring to someone's room haul. The other stuff from downstairs was already put away. You'll see in another video I did that we actually went to the Dollar Tree. So you could see that whole, you could see us going through it in another video coming up probably later this week. So, but first I got a book to read. It's called All the Houses from Karen Olson. And I don't know what it's about. Let's see what it's about. Helen Atherton returns to her hometown of Washington DC to help take care of her, to take care of him and ultimately of herself. In 2004, she's been living in Los Angeles, trying to get work in Hollywood and slowly spiraling into a depression fueled by hours spent watching C-SPAN. So she's going home to take care of her sick father and she learned some stuff about her and him while she's at it. We got some band-aids. This is their store brand called Assured. And these ones are good because they're fabric and they move with your finger and they stick pretty well. A Sharpie, because I use them all the time to mark my boxes. And I needed one upstairs. <laughs> Hydrocortisone cream. That's if you get bug bites and you have little itches. Psoriasis cream, if you get psoriasis. I get psoriasis, there's a little psoriasis there. It's part of my disease. Uh, antibiotic ointment so if you get a cut it's good to have this on you and this is a natural one made in the USA that they sell at the Dollar Tree which we like to have just in case you get a cut or something which happens it happens okay this is another favorite thing I get from them so you guys know I have a bad back bad hips and if you have a pain these Coralite pain patches from the Dollar Tree work really well. Do they take all your pain away? No, but you don't have to go to the regular um, CVS or whatever to get them or Target because you get 20, 20 for a dollar. These are small. So even if you wanted to put two on at a time and they last like overnight and then they come in these little packages, the outside packaging is different. It used to be white, but they're the same pain patches and there's two on each side in here. 
They help me out a tremendous amount when I have some pain. No, it doesn't take it away, but from the Dollar Tree, can you imagine that I get a little bit of pain relief from the Dollar Tree? I do. You guys, I don't need any more soap, but if you get any bar soap, Yardley, they sell this at the Dollar Tree. This used to be like a, more of a, like a luxury brand. Like my grandmother used to get it back in the day. So I don't know if this smell reminds me of my grandmother. They have like an uh, Oat and Shea one that's really good too. But I, I, we have 20 bars of soap. I needed pump soap, which believe it or not, they didn't have. They always have a lot of it, I guess, because now they ran out of hand sanitizer and pump soap. But if you could smell this oatmeal and almond, it's so good. And this soap is so luxurious feeling it's silky but it lathers it doesn't leave you with a film yeah it's one of my favorites too okay i guess you'll see some of my favorites because i see some in here let me just put some on my lap okay sensitive toothpaste i like to use it because my teeth get a little um like if something's really cold it bothers my teeth and that again is from my autoimmune disease because it's making my uh I don't know the bottom of my teeth like are showing more and I had to have that cleaned but it's from my autoimmune disease so this is the same as Sensodyne compared to Sensodyne in the store which is it's it more expensive these sensitive toothpaste but this one it actually really works the same if you keep using it so that was a dollar I figured I'd try this on my own sneakers not ones that I'm selling it's a called a shoe eraser. It's probably just like a baby, what do you call those? Magic eraser. There's an orange side where you rub midsoles to remove dirt and the white side gently buff out scuff marks and stains. So that's what it looks like for the shoe eraser. And people have been asking me to make, to make a video of um, shoes that have uh, how I clean shoes, so I'm gonna try that. Okay, back on. The... Oh, these are very cool. Band aids. So these ones are fabric, and they're made to move with your hand. Some of the really cute band aids, like my kids still wanted me to get, like um, I don't know, Paw Patrol band aids, whatever they are, because or camo. We like find fun band aids fun, but honestly, well they're little, but they don't stick and stay in your hand. So I was being practical this time. And I got fabric soft, fabric flexible, breathable, highly absorbent, non-stick band-aids. I never tried these ones. These are care pack. There's 30 of them in here. They're sterile. That's, that's all I mean. I love lip balm and I never seen these ones before. They're from Vaseline. They had a regular colored one and then I think this is like a rosy color. And I can use something on my lips, so let's Let's test her out. I think Bella hears the kitty cat. She's the kitty cat, I hear her downstairs. So there's the, the color. I get that much. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so good. It doesn't feel like Vaseline in the true sense of it being like that sticky. It smells rosy, not horrible. Um, yeah, it feels good. It's not sticky, so that's good. Okay, also, to clean shoes, I got white erasers, and you could either get that one plain or the one with extra, so why not get the extra little ones, right? Because maybe they'll get into smaller spots. Uh, this cleans sneakers. This cleans your stains off of sneakers, if you didn't know. White erasers. Dollar Tree. And these are from Pentel. Latex-free and clean erasing. So... It doesn't get marks and smudges. You'll probably see a lot of these in here, although this is not the one I usually get. I usually buy the makeup wipes from the Dollar Tree because they're obviously a dollar and makeup wipes are very, very expensive. There's one in here I'll get to later that I love that I get for everything. I, would, I usually use them, not really to wipe my makeup off, uh, well, sometimes, but I use it to wipe my makeup brushes off. So I have them in my, um, at my makeup table and I wipe my makeup brushes off with them. But this is nice, night calming lavender. I love lavender. 
and I wanted to try this. I also put a bag in my purse to wipe my hands, like if we go out. I don't go out often at all still, but I've been going out a little bit more, like once a week I might go to a store with them. So I'll take it, I'll wipe my hands off with it and then use hand sanitizer. And also, um, if I have to wipe something off. Oh wow, you guys, I was gonna this smell, this smell. These really smell like lavender and in, in a nice way. So if you don't like lavender, don't get it. It's not overwhelming, but there's 30 in here. These, I never saw these before, but then again, I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in five or six months. And so there is a fragrance, but they're free of parabens, nitrosamines, EDTAs, methyl something something, dioxin, blah, blah. They're free of a lot of things. And they're made in the USA. So makeup wipes, 30 makeup wipes. Yes, thank you, lavender scent. I got sensitive with vitamin E. So that might be good to use actually for my face. The aloe ones, I don't know if I would use to wipe my face with, or like wash my hands off. Where are some other ones? Let me throw some stuff here. In the meantime, okay. Okay, here's a few more. Okay, so this one has witch hazel, which this will be good to wipe your face with. Uh, if you want, just get a thing of witch hazel. There's a lot of people get all these fancy things for your skin. And if I was to spend money, I do spend it on skincare because believe it or not, a lot of them work, but you have to know what works and what doesn't. And, and like, I know where to spend my money right now and where not to. So yeah, I'm saying this, look at the bags under my eyes. I literally just woke up and I went to put this away and I said, let me share with you guys. So which hazel ones? So those three, and these are the ones I used to, used to get, and they have these um, in a pink pack, which non-wrinkling, and I probably got those. Oh, I did. I got those in here, too. These are the two that we always got before, but now they had extras. And these have 30 in them, too. This has retinol. This has collagen. Sometimes I'll use it on my face um, to get the first layer of makeup off. So these are the ones I usually use from the Dollar Tree. And they have a six-month shelf life once they're open. And for a dollar, you can go to town because usually wipes at minimum, minimum, minimum are uh, $5 for a pack. So I just got five packs, so 150 wipes. And so I'm excited about that. And you guys know, oh, okay. I don't mean to keep bending down, sorry. Um, I talked about this in another video and probably in the video that I have coming up a uh, vlog and different days that I've had that I'm putting together for you. I just haven't had a chance to edit it, right? So you guys know, I got this because this, the smell reminds me of my grandmother. They, the original one, it comes in blue. And I get that too when they have it. They didn't have it, but it's just beauty cream. I like the smell of it. And an oldie but a goodie, like oil of Olay, that stuff works really well. I know like this, my grandmother used to use it in her Chanel number five. I don't love the smell, but I love it because of her, so I have it. So I'll wear it sometimes when I think of her. So it comes with a top over it and then it has cream and it just smells so fresh and, and, and nice. So I got that. <clears throat> this time they had a men's one. So um, this is for your face, hands and body. And so when you come out of the shower, it's nice to put on. And my husband loves to put face cream on. My, I don't know, my whole family, like we use beauty products as you saw in my, what did we go through video? My kids got, made me get this meme, the game. It's a mean ga meme game. And I'm not sure how you do it, but again, it's a dollar and we were gonna do it on a video together for you guys. So I'm gonna keep that out. And you guys, I have some fun videos coming up, but I'll tell you when I'm done. Look. Show you what I got. I bet you thought it was Preparation H, didn't you? Listen, I might need that that soon, so I'm not even going to laugh about that. But that's for eczema cream. I told you my son puts that triple bi um, biotic ointment. He also uses it by his eyes because he gets eczema. It's an allergic reaction just over here above his eyes. You're not supposed to put that stuff near your eyes, but his doctor said he could. But I actually got some real eczema cream, which you probably do not get in your eyes. Do not. Don't use it. So we got some um, acetaminophen, and there's 40 caplets. the same as like extra strength Tylenol. 
and I needed some because I've been having some headaches and pains lately. And instead of going to CVS, I got this. It works the same. It's totally fine. And you get 40 tablets for a dollar. We also got the ones, I don't think it's in here anymore, uh, the packets so we could put them in our purse. I take one. There's three packets for a dollar. It's not nearly a great value like that. But I like the convenience of it. So my daughters and I each have one in our bag. Another Sharpie. These I love. They're those wall hooks and then you pull the back and they pop off. Now I need to tell you, in my closet, which I'm redoing, I'll show you the progress. It's a mess though. Um, I went to take it off and it took my wall off. And this is right after I had it painted. So it, it does hold up to a pound. And right now I have these on the side of, I still have a box from when we moved that has some specific sweaters in there. And it just fit in the space perfectly, so it's there. And off the side, I have like some jewelry hanging off the side so I could see it. And I had used these to do that on that. And then I also had used these to put some pictures up on a wall. And thank goodness, I only did two. And one I took off, took the wall off, and the other one is still hanging there. So I don't know if the other name brand one would have done the same thing. But I like these, you could put these in a inside a closet where you can't see to hang your, you know, your robe or a sweatshirt or jewelry. And that's what I like to use them for. And I also got them in clear. My daughter threw this in. This is a eyeglass, luxury eyeglass cleaner. Safe for anti-reflective glass, plastic and polycarbonate lenses. Eyeglass cleaner. So I'm not sure why she put that in there. And they took their stuff, so I don't know why it's still here. Um, we got some chewy vitamins. This is for hair, skin, and nails. It has the biotin in it. I don't think this is like a great price, but it's great to have a little chewies. Because as I'm getting older, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or my autoimmune disease or both. I lose so much hair every day. It's so bad. I always fill my hair. My hair used to be so thick I couldn't get a rubber band around it twice. Now I can get it around three times if that tells you anything. Okay. I think the Dollar Tree is Greenbrier, but they also work with Assured. I think that's like their companies. And this is aspirin. It's the same as Bear. It's coated aspirin. My husband has to take this once a day because he had a mini mini as small mini as you can have heart attack years ago it's like was barely a heart attack but it was okay i won't show you these these in my house we call i wish you're gonna come running it's a dog toy but it's a specific one it's blue and i think we have around seven of them i just want to show you something oh no it's, that's not it okay bella the new puppy oh my gosh she came running upstairs she heard it we call these Bluebell. Her toys have different names. She gets a bark box, but her favorite toy is Worm. She sleeps with Worm, and that came from the Dollar Tree, and it came from Brownie, who was my first dog, and then it went to Cookie, and then it went to Rosie, and now Bella has it. This Worm has been around for probably 15 years, and she sleeps with it. She can't it's like her security blanket. She sleeps with it. You say, go get worm, she'll get you worm. And her other favorite, favorite toy, besides balls, is Bluebell. Now she shreds these. So she goes through like one a week. So we stockpile Bluebell because we're so scared they won't have them anymore. You can have the different color ones, which she likes, but in particular, Bluebell. I got Bluebell. Bluebell is her specific toy. Come, you want, oh, she sees it has this. I don't want to let her have it. Go get Bluebell for me. Go get Bluebell for mommy. Show them how you get Bluebell. Go get Bluebell. She's here. Okay. 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 You guys see her? Say hi. She's here to get Bluebell. Here's Bluebell. And she, she knows its name. We call it Bluebell. I don't know why, how we came up with the name, but we've been calling it Bluebell. Okay. There she goes, there's her blue bell. We needed some bathroom shower cleaner. You know, cleaner, cleaner. 
transparent skin, vitamin D. I need some vitamin D. I have an it's been a proven thing that people with autoimmune diseases have low vitamin D, most of them, at least with ankylosing spondylitis. 99% of people will have very low vitamin D. D3 in particular. Sorry. But I also take every day. So I just thought it'd be fun to have chewing ones. If you know me, I'm obsessed with lemons. I love lemons. And the smell of this lemon is really great. It's oatmeal and lemon verbena. This is their store brand. They make a whole bunch of beauty products. Some are good. Some are like the. Some are not good. Their pump soap. It washes well, but it doesn't foam up uh, that much at all. So you have to know what you like. It's made in the USA. And I don't need bar soap, but I have a problem. Every time I go there, I have to get it. I held back because they had a lot of the other Yardley ones that I like, and they have a charcoal one, which is good for your face. But the reason I don't like bar soap is not because of using it. It makes a mess. But it, in like the shower, it puts a film on the shower, and it's really hard to get off where the pump soap or body washes can wash off easier. She's playing with the bluebell. It's hard to get the soap scum off, but I like it. So we do have one bar in there and I actually just use it for my face. Okay, let's get down to my last items. Let me just throw them here. Okay. Along the lines of those things that you pull off the wall, I got these because I'm going to put some on my inside closet to hang some jewelry off it on the inside of my closet so I could see it. I got a lot of fun type of jewelry from two places. One a little more expensive that you've probably seen all over YouTube from Misoma. Um, so it's more of a high-end costume jewelry, a little bit more pricey, but not near as pricey as regular jewelry. And then on the opposite spectrum, I got a lot of jewelry from Shein, which I'll share with you maybe after this video. And I just wanted to hang it so I could see it. To go with that, you're, you're, to go with the Shein jewelry, I got clear nail polish. And you're saying, Carrie, what does clear nail polish have to do with Shein jewelry? Well, Shein jewelry is actually made pretty well, most of it, and to get it for like a dollar to four or five dollars, whatever it is, is amazing, but it, the jewelry tarnishes, even Misoma, the jewelry will tarnish because it's not real. And also if it's not real metal, I get a little bit of allergic reaction in my ears and around my neck. It's not terrible if I keep it on a short amount of time, but I was told if you um, use clear nail polish over it, it prolongs that process from happening. So I'm gonna try it. So it's got wet and wild clear nail polish for a dollar to see if that works. Next, we got some Tums or their store brand Tums and they work exactly the same and Tums are very expensive. So you get 60, this goes in a purse and one goes in the cabinet. I got some cotton swabs and I don't really use these for my ears unless we run out of Q-tips because really Q-tips and the cotton swabs from the Korean store are the ones that I love, but I use this on my makeup table, you know, to get makeup out from under your eyes or whatever. But if I have to, I will, I'll use them. They're just not as fluffy as a regular one. And you got 150 and it comes in this little plastic container, which is helpful. Then my daughter got one of those uh, melting pots and it actually works really well, it's cute. I was going to get one and I put it back because I'm trying not to get things I don't need. But now that it works, I might get one. And these are the little wax you put into it and it smells really good. This one is mango, pineapple, and basil, bergamot. Oh, they smell really good, but she lights it in her room and I'm going to see if she wants that because I didn't get the little melty pot with it. And next, I got this to hold some makeup on my makeup table and I love the two colors pink and it's like a light gold I thought that was pretty I don't think it's gonna hold makeup brushes because I don't think it's deep enough but it will hold like lip liners and eyeliners and stuff like that 
or you could put earrings or something in it at your bedside. So I was just trying to eat everything in here now. No, go get Bluebell. Uh, this is a mini screwdriver. I needed a mini screwdriver to tighten my glasses on the side. So I thought this was really cute. It has all different shaped heads and you can put it uh, in your purse or on your keys. And it has a small Phillips head, a large Phillips head, a slot head, and three screw bits included. So you want to twist that and there's screw bits. You put them in there. So I'm going to try and do my glasses with that. And, okay, my last item. It's not my last item. <laughs> okay, I have a Sharpie to light a candle with. And I like that it has the extra length to it so you don't burn your hand trying to get into candles. So a little lighter. We got another bluebell we probably have six or seven of them stockpiled and this is my son's favorite thing it's the last thing the placards you know you clean in between your teeth you know if i tell you my son goes through these like candy and then he chews on them which he really shouldn't do because it takes the enamel off his teeth don't do what he does but there's 16 each packet for a dollar and again, this is another favorite of ours. So a lot of that was favorite of ours from the Dollar Tree. Do you guys go to the Dollar Tree or something similar? And do you have favorite things from there? Let me know. What what should I be getting that I don't? I d we did have a whole bunch of stuff downstairs. And I'll show you. You'll see the video in the next few days of us going into the Dollar Tree and what's in there. Let so me get, get going it. because I hear her chewing on that. And that has black marker. So till next time, everybody. Remember to be you. Ciao. I love you guys so much. Thank you for letting me take a break.